who truly discovered America. While Christopher Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci have long been celebrated, the story of Leif Erikson, a Viking explorer who set foot in North America centuries earlier, deserves the spotlight. Born into a lineage of adventurers, Leif's journey challenges our historical narrative, inviting us to delve deeper into the saga of the first Europeans in the New World. Leif Erikson was the son of Eric the Red, a notorious figure who founded the first Norse settlements in Greenland. Eric was not just an explorer, but also a fugitive, fleeing Iceland on charges of manslaughter. His exile led to Greenland, where he established a new life for his family, passing down a legacy of exploration and survival against the odds. This backdrop of exile and pioneering spirit set the stage for Leif's own ventures. Central to Leif's early education was Thryker, a slave captured by Eric the Red during raids in Europe. Thryker was more than a servant. He was a mentor to Leif, teaching him the art of navigation, the secrets of the runes, and the languages of the Celtic and Russian peoples. This comprehensive education prepared Leif not just for survival, but for exploration. Thryker's teachings infused Leif with a curiosity and skill set that would eventually lead him beyond the known world. Unlike the compasses and maps that would guide later explorers, Leif relied on the sun and the ocean currents to navigate the open sea during the day. At night, the stars and the position of the constellations helped to guide his way. He was adept at using a sun compass, a tool that helped Vikings find true north in the absence of direct sunlight. The Vikings also used a sunstone, also known as a solar stein, which was a navigational tool used by Viking sailors to locate the sun's position even on cloudy or foggy days. Leif also understood how to read the wind and waves, indicators of approaching land or changing weather. The Vikings also used sagas passed down by Viking poets and storytellers known as skalds. These sagas passed down knowledge of landmarks, currents, and weather patterns from one generation to the next. Leif's voyage to Norway as a young man marked a turning point in his life. Welcomed by King Olaf, Leif was introduced to Christianity, a faith that the king himself had adopted amidst the old Norse beliefs. Leif's conversion and subsequent mission to spread Christianity in Greenland was a testament to the changing times and the blend of old and new worlds, a theme that would define much of the Viking exploration era. The sagas of Eric the Red and the Greenlanders tell of Leif's greatest adventure, the discovery of Vinland. Purchasing a ship from Bjarni Herjolfsson, who had sighted unknown lands to the west, Leif set sail with a crew determined to explore further. They discovered a series of lands, Heluland, believed to be Baffin Island, Markland, likely today's Labrador, and finally, Vinland, a rich land of wild grapes and fertile soil, now thought to be Newfoundland. These expeditions were not mere voyages of discovery, but attempts to expand the Norse world, blending exploration with the practical search for new resources. Despite Leif Erikson's remarkable achievements, his legacy was overshadowed by the voyages of Columbus and Vespucci, who arrived centuries later. The recognition of Columbus over Leif as the discoverer of America is a narrative shaped by the political and cultural contexts of their respective eras. Yet, the story of Leif Erikson invites us to reconsider the history of exploration and the complex interactions between the old world and the new. It poses the question, how do we honor the legacy of those who first bridged the continents?